Come on down here and imagine it. We are in the Extreme Science Theater at the Imagination Station. We've got ice, we've got fire, we've got a fire extinguisher. We've got Carl Nelson, the chief scientist. What are you doing here? We're talking about dry ice today. Yeah, oh boy. Dry ice is solid carbon dioxide. And so well, you mentioned the fire extinguisher, and this is a carbon dioxide fire extinguisher. Okay, and so it uses carbon dioxide gas to sort of remove oxygen, and there you don't have combustion. Okay. And so in this aquarium over here, check this out. I've got a big block of carbon dioxide. And Tony, what I want you to do is you're going to take this, the scooper. Carbon dioxide gas is invisible, okay, but it will have an effect, hopefully, on this little flame here. Really? I'm going to pull this off slowly. The gas is heavier than air. I want you to just go in and scoop up some of the invisible it's gas. Invisible. This is a joke, isn't it? Right. And then just. And I'm pouring it into. What? <laughs> is that not cool? <laughs> I um, didn't expect that at all. <laughs> so carbon dioxide will displace the oxygen and put the flame out. Now, we're going to do a, sort of an interesting thing with this. So we're going to okay. burn magnesium in a block of carbon dioxide. I like the way you think. So go ahead and put your safety glasses on. Will do. Um, I've got a tiny little strip of magnesium metal here. I'm going to ignite that just to give you a sense of how bright it is. Um, anybody watching uh, here at the Imagination Station should not look directly at this, nor should we. It gives off lots of Unless ultraviolet you light. Eclipse glasses. Still I was just going to say that. I was just going to say that. I should have brought some eclipse glasses. So we're going to ignite this. I want to give you a sense of how brightly that burns. Lots of UV light coming off. You don't want to stare directly at it, but it uh, is incredibly bright. I looked at the trap ray. Yeah, yeah, don't don't do it. It's not okay. good for you. So what we're going to do is take that sort of magnesium, put it inside the carbon dioxide, and try to get it to combust. Okay. So put your uh, get your gloves on. Got them on. Okay. Come on over here. Let me show you what I have. Got a big block of carbon dioxide and or dry ice. I've made a little divot right in the middle here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to add some magnesium shavings inside there. That looks pretty good. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use the torch to ignite the magnesium. You are going to pick up this block okay. and gently place it on top. So we're going to seal up the burning magnesium inside the carbon dioxide. And just like our candle, you might expect it'll go out, right? Well, well I don't know. That's why we're going to experiment. I never know what's okay. going to happen so here. Pick up the block and be ready. OK. So. Uh, well, while we're doing this, we want to remind everybody, come on down to the Imagination Station. They're open today. And if you live in Lucas County and you have a kid who lives in Lucas County, a kid gets in free with a paid adult admission. Come on back here and see how this magnesium is heating up okay. inside the block of dry ice. There it goes. There it goes. Step back because it's, it's an eerie glow. Get, it's going to get incredibly hot. The cool thing that's happening here is that the magnesium is actually removing some of the oxygen from the carbon dioxide to allow it to combust. So the carbon dioxide is not putting out the combustion reaction. We're getting lots of magnesium oxide. Hopefully we don't set off the fire alarm here in the building. Um, but you know, let's look at how bright that is. And you're totally safe looking at this because yeah. the CO2 will block the UV light. If we try to use a fire extinguisher on it by pulling the pin first, it only gets brighter because we're simply providing more carbon dioxide gas to bind with the burning magnesium. It's not going to put it out. How long do you think this is going to glow like that? Well, if we keep adding CO2, it's going to keep going for a while. Really? Now, the cool thing at the end, it's, it may be fluttering out here. At the end, what will be inside that little divot where we put the magnesium will be a solid puck of carbon, because that's one of the end products, carbon and magnesium oxide. You can see it's starting to die down right now. Yeah. It's probably still uh, a little bit too bright to look at. OK. So we want to so, wait until it totally cools, and we'll pull out the puck? We could, we could do that, and we actually <laughs> see that there would be carbon inside. OK. I don't know. It may be, it may be, it. It may be too bright. Oh, yeah, uh, see, she's oh, still burning. She's All still right. burning. Keep a lid on it. Keep, Keep a lid, lid on, on it. it. All right. It's like an igloo nightlight. <laughs> there you go. Just like that, and that's how you imagine it.